Hi there, Mahin here, and I hear you all say you need more games to add to your backlogs. What? No? Well, here's some anyway. Here are five Steam games you might have missed. From the creator of Everybody Wham Wham comes a new musical adventure game about a roaming jester and his friend. Once Upon a Jester has a concept reminiscent of Wonder Song and main characters, Jester and Sock, travel the kingdom challenging other performers. And it's your job to help Jester be the best improvisational Jester. That means you'll need to make on-the-fly decisions. Should Jester grandly draw his sword or whip out his flute for a virtuistic solo? Amusingly, Jester and Sock aren't traveling the kingdom solely to bring joy into the lives of strangers, because they're also motivated by a ridiculous plan to steal the royal diamond. This looks really funny and the art style is instantly appealing. I just can't imagine who'd ever do a job acting a fool for people on a daily basis for money. But hey, that's just me. In the vein of Satisfactory and Factorio, Astro Colony is a game about making hectically complex automation systems. Played from a first person perspective and with two player co-op support, it's set in an infinite procedurally generated universe of voxel planets. So perhaps you can add No Man's Sky to the list of its influences. On one or several of these fully destructible planets, you'll be building transport networks for various plundered or manufactured goods, while also making sure your workers are home down happy. It's an ambitious affair, hence the early access stint. Developer Terad Games predicts it will be in early access for about a year, while polish and new features are added, including mod support and dedicated servers. Just when we thought Halloween was over, here comes Anglerfish. This game has a brilliantly bizarre pitch. It's set in a secluded bar, but the horrors derived less from the presence of baddies and gore, and more from the terror of dating. That's apparently what you'll be doing at this carnivalesque bar. And as benign as that activity seems, you should not expect to survive it. Indeed, death is one of the central novelties of Anglerfish, because the game only saves when you die. And depending on where and how you die, your next run will be strongly influenced by that fatal turn of events. That description only seems to scratch the surface of the weird mysteries Anglerfish has to offer, though the Steam page does promise that you can pat a cute dog in it, and that there's a shotgun. Just don't mix those two things together. Here's a charming little game about feeding and raising a cat. The kitty may feature in the game's title, but Meow Jiro is more about working in a convenience store. All the better to have the money to raise your furry friend, even though they may not fully appreciate all your hard work. You'll serve customers, scoop ice cream, warm up bentos, and at the end of the day, you'll get to spend your hard earned wage on your creature. Not that they'll care. But you can also decorate your home in other non-cat related ways. With beautiful pixel art and a very stress-free approach to retail work, Meow Jiro looks very much like a comfort game. It has a cute cat in it for heaven's sake. And this time, no shotgun. You would have thought this was October again with the amount of games from hell. But here's another roguelike deck builder. Nadir has an appealingly painterly approach to art inspired by Dante's Divine Comedy and a couple of twists of its own. First, each card has two possible functions, denoted by their red and blue varieties. And you'll need to be super careful about your decision because each of your moves buffs your enemy's abilities. These cards can be crafted into unique double cards too, so there will be a lot to think about as you slowly build your deck. Like many a modern roguelike, Nadir also has permanent progress in the form of your city. It's called Nadir, which will expand and offer useful tools as you progress through the campaign. Nadir is an early access game and will stay there a couple of months while studio, Team Nadir, applies polish and a heap of new content. And that's all we got for you this week, so if you've got some free time between AAA releases coming out this time of year, spare a thought for some of these indies. I'm Mahin Kasor and remember to like, comment and subscribe to PC Gamer's YouTube channel. See ya!